Hey guys, welcome to another prayer focus today. Uh, today is no no different than any other. This is a time where, as always, you can section out a part of your day, whatever you're doing, at work, in the car, whatever it is, and just give some time to God to focus, to receive, to press in, to talk to, whatever it is to release to the Lord. This is this time. Um, as always, I'm praying for you, connected to you by the Spirit of God as a brother in Christ. But God always wants to hear your voice. He loves you. He loves to be present with you. He loves your presence as we love his presence. That's why he created you to be present with you. So hearing you is a blessing to God. He misses you. So in this time, always remember that whatever is on your heart, please release it. And I am just praying for you guys in connection. So know that no matter if it's a thousand miles away, I'm right there beside you by the spirit of God. All right. So let's close our eyes. Let's remove any type of distractions and let's just press it to God. Lord, thank you so much, man. You're awesome. Lord, I just lift up all these people, Father. I lift up all these people to your altar, to your throne right now. Hallelujah. I see saints lifting up to the altar of God. They have different colored robes on. They're being raised up. I see them coming from the earth up to the heavenlies. Hallelujah. God is raising saints from the earth up to the heavenlies. Lord, I just thank you and I loosen these people to you, Father God. I am intercessing for them right now, Lord Jesus. I am praying for them, Lord. I'm praying for their health. I'm praying for healing to be bestowed upon their mind. I'm being shown someone that needs to be healed in their brain, their mind right now. I proclaim healing in the name of Jesus. I proclaim healing in the name of Jesus, that God will move powerfully to the depths, to the mind, to the the inner workings of what's going on in the brain that is the issue. Lord, I proclaim healing there. Father God, I loosen these people to you and I pray that you move powerfully on them, that you show them things, that you speak to them. I hear that God is going to speak. I hear God speaking words to multiple saints. Hallelujah. I see there's a response going out from God right now to his people. Hallelujah. And as many of them, many are, many are receiving a response from God. Hallelujah. There has been a sought out desire from his people and he is responding as he wants to, as a good father should. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Lord Jesus, I just come before you and thank you for all you're doing. You are great, Lord. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are awesome in every avenue, Lord. Lord, I pray for these saints. Lord, I pray for these people pressing into you. I see people knelt down on their knees and they're just pressing, crying out to you, Lord. Father God, I loosen these people to you and say, Lord, meet them where they need to be met at, Lord. I'm seeing someone with sorrow. Somebody is crying out with sorrow and they're crying out in this sorrow pain. I feel the emotion they're going through. And it's like, oh, please, God, can you hear me? Oh, please, God, do this for me. Oh, please, God, I just need help. Oh, please, God, meet me. I keep understanding just for you, for God, just to meet you where you're at right now. Hallelujah. And I see God. Oh, praise God. I see God taking your hand. I see God taking your hand and rising you up, lifting you up with his beautiful hands. His hands are full of glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he's raising you up and he's like, he's saying, stand firm, stand still, my child, stand up, my child. It's like he's raising you up to stand up and he's just saying, be still, stand as my child and stand firm. Like he's saying to me, I got you. This is what I'm understanding looking at this vision, what I'm seeing. He sees saying, I have you. There is no worry. There is no doubt. Just rest and believe. He has you. He has raised you up from that sorrow point and he is standing you up tall to let you know I have you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see in the spirit that he is working on many people. Hallelujah. He's working on many saints. It's like different things. It's like I see God attending to all the saints needs in different ways. Wherever you have a need, the point of contact is being made. Come to God with your needs right now. I see him doing, it's like he's doing 10 different things 
for each saint, but each saint is only receiving what he is needed to receive. But God is doing 10 different things at the same time in this row. I see all these saints land up in a row side by side, and each one has a different need. And God is meeting you at that need. And it's different for each person, but he's doing it at the same time as an omnipresent God he is. I see it and it's supernatural. It makes no sense from the carnal. It makes no sense by logic, but by God, it can be done. By miracles, it is being done right now. He is moving upon his people. He's moving upon his people. He is taking care of those situations at the same time and multitasking like never before. Come to him where you need him. He will meet you there. Come to him as you are. He's already there. Come down on bended knee and humbled and pressing into him and he is going to meet you. I promise this for the Lord is showing me this right now. He is giving me this for you to receive. Take this in and make it yours. He is coming to you to meet you at this point of contact. And this contact could be a contact of something of sorrow. It could be of joy. It could be a provision. It could be of understanding. It could be a revelation. Come to him and ask and see what he has in store for you. He knows already. He just wants you to be present with him. He wants you to come to him in presence and be present with you as you are with him. He is your father. We are his children. There is no fear coming to the throne of God. There is no doubt coming to the throne of God, the Savior who has died for you and resurrected. There is no worries coming to the throne of God. Release everything to him. Give him everything right now. Hallelujah. Give him everything right now. I see that God it keeps pressing in me to say, release everything to him right now. There is a restoration happening. Hallelujah. There's a restoration happening for his people. As you give, he restores. It's always this trade. He has it already ready for you. All you need to do is receive it by faith in what he can do. He loves you with a great, unfathomable love. He cares for you in a great, unfathomable care. His goodness runs forever. The good possibilities God can do never end. He always has another good thing he can do for you. Always know this. He doesn't run out. He's not a plateau. He does not plateau. He goes on and on forever. God, I thank you for this time. I praise you for this time, Lord. I praise you for the presence I feel right now, Lord. Let this presence be felt so thick to everyone listening to this in Jesus' name. Father God, I proclaim great healing to be loosened once again. There is a healing going out. It's a wave. There is a healing going out. Hallelujah. And I pray in Jesus' name, it touches everybody in that point. Look, look at every area that you need healing and just start to talk to it. Speak to it in the name of Jesus. Release the firm stance you have by faith in Christ Jesus and see what happens. Walk in faith. Walk in faith, walk in dominance as a child of God over everything by his name. It is by his authority in Jesus name. Begin to speak. I'm looking at hallelujah. There's somebody with this problem in their elbow. And I keep seeing this elbow. It's the inner part where your, where your arm folds. And I'm seeing someone and then God is saying, speak to it. Speak to it in his name. Begin to speak what you need to speak. Speak healing into it. Speak the, the firm stance of what God has done. By his stripes, we are healed. He says that if you come to me, I will provide. But that is also healing as well. Begin to speak to that area. I'm seeing now in the spirit that there's different joints. There's different joints on the body that God is looking at. And he's saying, speak to these areas. Let my name be prominent in these places and begin to receive your restoration. Talk to it with faith. Talk to it as a soldier of God, as a child of God with bold faith, not fragile faith, bold faith. Speak to these areas, all these ligaments. Thank you, God. That is the word. Speak to these ligaments, Father. In Jesus' name, speak to these ligaments, Lord, and can conduct your healing upon your saints. Begin to speak to it. Talk to it. You have authority by Christ Jesus. 
It is out of the mouth things are manifested. So speak out of the mouth in his authority and watch manifestations happen. God is here for you. He will do what he has come to do. He does not change his mind. He is not a wavering God. He says it and it's done. It is us for us to believe. Receive what you are come to receive in his presence right now. Make sure you are crying out to him. Press into him. Give him your all because he's already given it to you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I just thank you, Lord. I praise you for all you're doing. I thank you for your wonderful grace, your amazing mercy, your amazing favor, your miracle power that is being released right now. Thank you, Jesus, for touching so many of your people, Lord. Hallelujah for all you do. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, the congregation says amen. Well, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. I'll talk to you soon.